Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. So, yes, Beatmaker, Beatmaker 3. Uh, dropped the other day, obviously. And uh, loads of... So I did that quick play video. Um, a quick play. <gasps> quick play. Um, you know, quick start, getting started. And of course, I'd only been using it like for a couple of hours and stuff like that. And uh, But when I was trying to set the tempo, um, I, I did this, so you, 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 here's your tempo, it, it, it defaults at 90 BPM, 4-4 four, four time signature, I don't want to get into time signatures and stuff like that, but you can do quite a few different ones, 5-4 um, look, 6-4, 3-4, so yeah, so you've got a good good set of time signatures, you can actually, someone's even go quite high. I don't know what you do with 19.4, but there you go. Let's leave that back at 4.4. No, the thing was the tempo. So I was going like this. Look, there's me 90 BPM, and I wanted it at 100, and I was going like this. Look at this. And I was thinking, oh, can I just slide it faster and faster? And, you know, when, you, when you, you're doing these and you've not done it before, it, it's, it's kind of easy to miss the obvious. <clears throat> So some people have pointed out the different tips for changing the tempo. So you don't need to go through all this rigmarole of that's very, very accurate, accurate tempo in that is. You know, so let's take it back down to 90. If you just hold on the BPM there and you can move down like that, look. Hey, how easy is that? So brilliant for the person who gives that 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 tip that's just fantastic so you can go up in big ones and blobs like that right so that's easy so i was trying to get a hundred and look at how, how easy it would be and then somebody else come up with another brilliant tip just double tap on it and then you can add whatever tempo you like uh, fantastic so you see i think i think for i think for beat maker beat maker three I think these shorter tutorials kind of thing are much are much more useful than trying to go through a million different things at once. Now I've got one planned for a bit later. I hope I'll to get it done. I'm going to show uh, how to import from other apps like Audio Share and Cubasis and then build it into a kit sort of thing. And keep that as short as possible as well. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching this very, very quick video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, etc, etc. You know all the stuff. And yeah, just a little bit about setting your tempo. See you guys later.